everybody, ladies and gentlemen, and good day to you. Let's see what kind of surprises this hoopty ride gives us. What we have here is a classic 2009 Chrysler Town & Country miniature van. It makes a noise and start up with a check engine light. Oh, I hear a power steering noise. Okay, let's plug in the scanning device and see what this thing has. But first, let's see if it has air conditioning. Because it is about 200% humidity today. I'm hot. Powering on Chinese EM grade scanning tool. Shit, no, this old piece of junk doesn't have AC. Scanning VIN number, fancy programming. starting to overheat so shut down all right well i just got back from a two mile test drive this thing already smells like coolant leaking let's see what's in the here we go okay yeah coolant temp sensor circuit low manual shift overheat i don't know that one i'll have to research that and oh some stuff in the abs module too hmm, brake module internal i wonder what that means and it's uh yeah it's got some some things going on here okay and you guys i wasn't even gonna make a video about this car but it's such a pile i think that we might want to might want to stick around yeah, antenna's broken Ooh. hey at least the fan's running this is great Dipstick is broken off inside of the tube. All right. I'm scared. Okay, well, I see oil leaking at the pan everywhere. I have located a leak at the power steering high pressure hose. Not a huge one, but it's been it's been leaking for a while. Yeah, this this oil pan gasket is definitely seeping everywhere. But I still have no sign of my engine coolant, and that bothers me. Where have you gone, engine coolant? Let's see what's in the radiator. Water. Uh -huh. So we know we have a leak somewhere. Because these folks have been filling this up. Okay, I shall fill this up with water and run it. Let's see if I cannot find a leak with a pressure tester. And this is gallon number two, and it's still drinking. Glug, glug. Two and a half gallons of water. Oh, there it is. Nope. Look, guys. It's leaking. I found it. Peter hose. Oh, it's not connected. Cars are like a box of chocolates. 
No shit, look at that. Yeah, they they changed that fitting once upon a time, but never uh, never put the clip back in it. Uh oh. Okay. Let's just take a look at this. Hmm. Okay, it has the it has the clip. So why why aren't we connected? Hmm. Okay. Two hands. Ow, oh, that was warm. There. Look at that. It's attached. Now it won't leak anymore. I fixed it. So Chrysler minivan man called back. It's it's been a few hours according to his newly adjusted clock. And he wants me to put a thermostat with a gasket in it. And we're not gonna worry about any of the other stuff that's wrong. And he just wants me to refill the the radiator with water because that's cheaper. So that's that's about all I'm I'm gonna get to do on this thing is just change some cheap parts and you know, yay, maybe it'll last uh, another couple months or something. I don't know. I just do what I'm told. Probably shouldn't throw that away. This could be the wrong parts. You never know. If memory serves, I believe this is the thermostat housing. So um, I'm just going to take it off and, and see what's in there. Besides water and, and rusty water. I believe I'm gonna find a thermostat. Let's see. Mm, I like that. We're gonna need a wobbly extension. That really is gone forever, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the new one in now and get this piece of crap out of here. Because this is a do nothing, no progression at all job. Yeah, so I, I actually thought I was kidding when I said that thermostat was gone forever, but I, I can't find it anywhere down here, so I, I think it might be. Uh, that being said putting the new one in and moving on. There. And we just stick it right in there. This is good. Nobody in the comments is going to tell me I forgot a spark plug wire, because I didn't. Both sides of it. Mm, no click. This thing is such a piece. Uh, click. And here we go. Time to start. There, there's the key. Hey, it still lives. So I, I got 
gonna tell you this this guy said he doesn't want he doesn't want to put any cooling in it, but I don't give a shit. He's he's getting some. I just I can't have that. It's wrong. What color is this? What color is it? Yeah, that's water. That's not water. We're using this. It's like this whole video is me pouring stuff into a radiator. Chrysler complete. So, seeing how this particular vehicle was kind of a joke of a repair, let me know what you think the future holds for this here piece of machinery down in the comment section below. You think we're gonna come back with a warning light complaint? Or are we never gonna see this guy again? The customer states ever since you fixed blah, 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 my check engine light is on. Oh, better shut that key off. There we go, try again. So like I said, let me know down below what you guys think. Think we're ever gonna see this hunk of junk again? Or is it just going to disappear on its way back up to Indiana? Never to be seen by any of us. On the bright side, it appears that adding engine coolant has made the car stop overheating. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you show a little bit of attention to that like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the comments down below. And don't forget, have a great day.